Okay, so make no mistake about it, after showcasing this manga on my main channel, I just decided to say to myself, alright, well why not actually have these two fight in Xenoverse 2, and not for nothing, this would be, if you really stop and think about it, a very dynamically good fight. Now, of course, I think a lot of us will say and come to the ultimate conclusion to suggest that, yeah, Vegeta would likely destroy Murzumasu's body, but the question now becomes, can Vegeta ultimately destroy the very essence of what Zamasu becomes in that of transcending himself into the universe? You know what I mean? So, if you guys have missed out on the previous manga that we've showcased involving, of course, said characters, then you guys can go on ahead and find that link located down in the description box below and in the pinned comment section, because not only did we go as far as to include tremendous amount of quality and putting a lot of detail into this one-off story, but what I also want to know down below is, do you guys believe that Ultra Ego Vegeta does in fact have what it takes to defeat Murzumasu. This is actually a little tricky right now because the last thing that I want to happen is for Zamasu to get the better of me. And wow, all right, wait, wait, okay, that was that was actually really dope because I swear to you, I really thought as though I was going to miss. And we're gonna run that back because not for nothing, I'm on the side of Ultra Ego Vegeta, but as we run it back, I want to go on ahead and discuss Zamasu's immortality because, well, it is very important, you know what I mean? See, now, when it comes down to Zamasu's immortality and seeing what Murd Zamasu was capable of, I'm sure a lot of people will say, well, Zamasu would easily just run down Vegeta just because Vegeta would be stronger doesn't really mean that Zamasu would be able to kind of outpower him in a way or outmuscle him. But make no mistake about it, if Vegeta ends up destroying, you know, parts of his body, then Zamasu can just easily regenerate himself over and over. And remember, even Beerus at one point said that he can't really erase an immortal being, right? That's why we had to have the, we, you know, the Omni King step in and we had to have that scenario play out because only the Omni King was able to just erase Zamasu if you want to count the anime and even all of his clones in the manga that's how dangerous Zamasu was, right? So what I'm thinking about doing, I would argue to say by next year is, again, let me know down below if we should do this, is let me know if we should recreate this story, except maybe this time we're gonna include more of a back and forth struggle involving the two and with a little bit of, you know, an inclusion of adding in some twists and turns, you know what I mean? So only if you guys wanna see that, are we gonna go on ahead and do it. So that was a wash, man. This version of Vegeta is powerful. So again, we're gonna run this back one more time because I feel as though I, I there's something about this fight that's very intriguing to me. So let's give it one more go and see how this goes. Now I'm gonna be straight up, if Zamasu ends up beating me right now, then that's going to be really, really bad. But again, I need you guys to let me know down below if you think that perhaps maybe Vegeta is in fact capable enough of destroying an immortal being which once again i do want to say that this story is all thanks to all of my patreons and again if you guys want to support the channel and want to see more fan mangas like the one we did then visit and go on ahead and support me on patreon patreon.com slash and gaming link will be located down below and in the pinned comment section and you guys on there will be getting all my soundtracks my mods art and pngs and i can't stress that enough because without you we aren't able to do this. So let me go on ahead and kick Zamasu's ass. Once again, I also want to know, should we recreate this for an event sometime next year? Should we retell this story and have more of a back and forth struggle? Should we give Zamasu a new form? Because I'm already thinking about it, you know? Because the sole purpose of that story was to simply create a one-off. And I know a lot of you guys want me to always, you know, continue the one-offs, and I'm going to do that, but for this, I need you guys to let me know. So let me go on ahead. Can I Hakai him? Let me see, because I think I'm able to, and it's very different, you know, by comparison to the manga. Oh, the manga and the anime. That was insane. The, the way Vegeta just finished him off was just beautiful. So again, if you guys are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up right now if you guys enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to my primary channel, Unreal and Gaming. Link to that will be located down below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff will be located down below as well. I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you all so much, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace.